Okay, so this is the brush, and this is the terrain, and let's just uh, place that, you know, place a couple of brushes on uh, the terrain. Multiply, place mesh, and use these settings right here. If I hit populate, you'll see that it pops like, populates those polygons, the selected ones. Uh, you can undo and do it over again and get a different result. So do that as many times as you you like until you're set. Um, satisfied. I think this is okay. Um, now I'll take this selection, expand it, and uh, you might deselect some of these guys just to make things run a bit faster. Just going to call that temp, and it has the same surface. I made this surface before, but uh, it has the same blue surface. It's just a temporary selection, really. Um, okay, let's um, take that one, copy it. Paste it in here and let's um, move it up. This one we use heat shrink, so modify heat shrink and use the minus and amount 100. Actually, well, you can see that it doesn't look like much. So that's why, oops, that's why I have this selection and we're going to metaform it twice and deselect because that's actually faster when using heat shrink. And um, use heat shrink. Hundred and now you see that we got this. Can um, let's see, select these guys again and subdivide just to make it look more smooth. Um, Actually, to make it run sl a bit faster, because after all, if it's not that fast, I'm just gonna deselect some of these polygons here. Basically close to done. Uh, what I could have done now, I could have made a, a morphed displacement, and that is basically just creating a morph and using the airbrush um, to uh, displace uh, the object or the terrain. But that's 
can it can be quite slow. Um, it would be in, in this case. So in this case, I'm just going to use um, drag network tool and to tweak this. So you can see it's quite alright. But again, if if you follow the link that um, that I'm, that's going to be on this YouTube video, then um, you can see how how you can go about it another way. But it's it's going to be slow with this many polygons. So remember about the drag uh, network tool is that um, you need to hit a vertice or a point if if this tool doesn't hit uh, a point a vertice if it take for example like the mid of this polygon if you click nothing is going to happen which is kind of like annoying but that's how it, how it is So sometimes when I do this, nothing will happen, which is a big pain. Anyway, um, I'm not really sure if I would uh, recommend sculpting in in Lightwave. I'm sure you would rather do this in another application, 3D code or ZBrush, something like that. Um, but I'm just really showing you what you can do. So um, if you want to add more detail here, you can do that quite easily by metaforming again. You can metaform twice. that selection See what I'm getting at. So this of course takes a long time if you want to do it in Modeler, but the option is there. 